Hi folks, it's Charlotte Webster from Seat, and today I'm joined with... Caitlin. And Caitlin is here with a whole new intervention I hadn't actually seen before. I'm actually, I quite like this, so I'm going to leaf this one to you. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, we're going to be making sun prints today. So uh, basically what you do is you can collect some natural materials or anything flat that has a, a certain shape around it. And you can use construction paper, just dollar store or pretty uh, uh, inexpensive. And um, you can lay whatever you find down on it and make a nice little pattern of whatever you want it to look like. Do you want to add anything? Yeah, I do, because what I found when I practiced this, um, when you told me before, is different leaves work better. Mm. So this lovely geranium leaf has got some three-dimensional aspect to it, it's all curled up and that, whereas this leaf, which I have no idea what it's from, is rose nice bush. and flat. A rose bush, really, that's a rose leaf. Yeah. Who knew, look at that. So the rose leaf actually worked a little bit better than the curly one, so we also tried a trick of putting a piece of clear plastic on the top. Yeah, yeah. and that helped a lot, just kind of flattened them, because basically what happens is the sun shines down on it, and the shape of the leaf um, gets blocked out and then the rest of the paper will fade from the sun so it'll leave a print on the paper and some of these were more successful than others right they were so do you want to show us the ones that didn't work as well first sure here's one here don't know if you can even tell on there or not but there were leaves here and here and here but they Go didn't really them. show up does that show up Here's not one. very successful. Here's one a little better. What about that? Tip it back there. So a you know better. it didn't quite work as we planned because it should stand off the page quite quickly like that. Well, quite quickly, quite easily like this one. You see that one? Yeah. And so also in this one you can see where the, the plastic piece was put on there to flatten as well. Because as you know, if you've been following along on our lives, it's pretty windy here. So the one problem with laying them down and putting them out under the sun was they blew away. So we used a clear piece of plastic over the top to weigh them down. Because it's so windy here, we also tried them on this table with the window here shining on and thought that would be enough. But that side angle light didn't work as well as the direct from mm -hmm. the top, did it? No. no. So show us the one that worked well enough that you really like. Oh, so this one worked the best, and I think it looks quite effective. Sorry if you can got you our see heads in the camera. Off. There. And the reason you know that worked quite well is because there's a big difference between the actual outline of the leaf and the solid color of the paper. Right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. what we're actually doing is you're bleaching, some bleaching, a our, our camera, a lovely camera person might want to just tip the camera up a little bit. So we've got our heads in, yeah, there we are, because you want to see our beautiful faces. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so, <laughs> and so what you need to think about is we're allowing the sun to bleach the paper mm -hmm. and the leaves are acting as a resist. So where the leaves mm -hmm. are covering the paper, it's not going to bleach quite as much. So that's what we're aiming for. So is that as far as you're going to go with this or are you going to take it a little bit further? Well, you can go this far or take it a bit further and we might as well take it a bit further. So I like the idea of that. <laughs> we have chalk pastels here and I'm just going to go for it and do whatever this image inspires me to draw and draw on top of it. All right, well, we're going to have a look at that. And you've got some beautiful chalk pastels there. Yeah. I'm going to look at this one as well. And this one is actually of the petals rather than the leaves. And unfortunately, our petals, these were flowers that actually Caitlin and Jason bought me as a birthday gift. So to me, this was even more important that when the flowers no longer survive, I could keep them in a different form. So we laid them down on the paper, allowed the sun to do the bleaching. I still think you can see the lily outline there and the little stamen. So I'm going to work on this one. So far away with your questions, or if you've tried this before, let us know. We've got a, we're getting quite techy here. We've got a couple of computers set up to see 
your comments and responses hopefully as they come up oh there's some cute googly eyes coming up i guess we're surprising some people <laughs> now you called this construction paper caitlin in england hmm. we call it sugar paper for some reason ah, i've yeah. never heard that term yeah, that's weird because it doesn't taste good <laughs> And really, it's just a rough textured paper that comes in all these bright colors already, eh? Mm hmm So where did you learn to do sun dyeing? I think I actually just found it online and tried it out and thought that it was really fun. Oh, that's so, pretty neat. Yeah. And for those of you who aren't aware, we've got uh, Michelle hiding behind the camera today. Michelle, have you ever done any of the... She might strangle us with the... the <laughs> cord. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm really not a good videographer. You're a great videographer. So have you ever done any sun dyeing? I haven't. It's the only couple of things that I've done were accidental. Mm. Um, I remember putting leaves in half um, solidified cement oh. when the sidewalks were being put in. And so that had a similar sort of but much more permanent <laughs> impression but I thought it was pretty fantastic yeah I oh. pressed leaves in clay that's a good point I guess that's mm. a little bit like you're, you're uh, in the cement here yeah. and then you really do want those thick veins, the veins there really as opposed well. to the smooth one yeah. yeah whereas we found the smooth one worked better for this I've had some um, some of the carpets in the house be bleached by the sun Oh, and yeah. I certainly thought, oh, well, if I could have controlled how it was bleached, it could have become a little art project. <laughs> but I'm going to go and try this. I'm going to take your bleaching challenge and do it this weekend. Oh, cool. nice. And, of course, you're going to post and tell us what that looked like. I remember when I was, you've both been to hot countries, when I was in Haiti, um, that they would lay the white clothes, especially shirts and blouses from schools, out um, in the sun to get them more white. Ah. So I guess if Makes you want sense. the sun to bleach things, so long as it's bleaching what you want, it's all good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> now, these are pretty nifty chalk pastels here. Mm -hmm. uh, do you these like... are good ones. I love these. Yeah, these are good. Yeah. It's sort of weird to use such good ones on sugar or construction paper, but mm -hmm. we're just using what was around, and thankfully, these were gifted to us. Oh. Lovely. Mm. I wonder what would happen now if we bleached it. Oh, you should try it. Ah. Oh, I look at the vibrancy in yours. I went all pastel-y. I like it. <laughs> so any suggestions of what else we could do with this, Michelle? We've got some here that really didn't work. Mm -hmm. What about wax paper? It might melt. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. So trying it with wax paper. And for these ones, I was thinking that didn't work. We could cut out the shapes and make it almost like those snowflakes you used to do as w on the window. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could layer them on too. I bet there's tons of ideas. Mm -hmm. So if we were to leaf our live there. I know, I'm not going to let that one drop. At some point, I'll let it fall. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell it's the end of the... I'm close to the 30 days. Yeah. <laughs> so, Caitlin, this was your intervention. You've shown us how. So, what's going to be everybody's challenge for day 28? Um... No pressure there. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about if people just gave it a try for the sun bleach? Oh, right? sure, yeah. Give All right. Try. And, it's fun. And hopefully you have access to some sunshine. But I, I imagine fluorescent lights would work pretty well, too. Ooh, we haven't uh, tried that. I, I, my father was a photographer, and I grew up occasionally oh. sneaking into the dark room in the basement. Ooh, wow. Occasionally oh. to uh, be told off, of course, because I was... Um, wrecking the dark um, <laughs> and causing s some essentially some bleaching of the, the photographs by messing with the light levels so oh, that's there's also true. some really cool stuff that can be done with the um, that's those true old with the enlarger yeah yeah 
Yeah, that's a good point. So, I've done prints like that actually as well with oh. the photosensitive paper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so there's an option too. Yeah. So depending on what you have access to, use what you have around. So if you've got construction paper and you've got access to leaves, try it with the sun, try it with the light. And of course you can just simply use these as printers too, yeah. printing blocks and so on. You can try or rubbings. Rubbings. I'd forgotten mm -hmm. about oh, rubbings. We haven't done rubbings. We We're haven't. Have to, mm. Oh, we don't have the paper within leash reach. <laughs> but um, you could try Michelle's idea of embedding it in concrete mm -hmm. and um, or just clay. Yeah. You could try a, a thousand things with these little. Or rubbings. even just trying to make a mark with natural materials in whatever way. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's good. Yeah. I like that challenge. All right. So what's make the challenge? Try and make a mark with natural materials in whatever way suits you. Oh, you're nice. <laughs> That's a very doable challenge. <laughs> All right, so let's make some marks and we are going to, I've got to say it one more time, leave it there. <laughs> okay. For those of you who haven't heard, we're going to be doing several lives on Saturday on the culmination of our 30 day challenge where we're all going to be together uh, painting and drawing at our local arts day. So please plan to join us on Facebook on Saturday. We're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a mm -hmm. great day. And thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. And we will say goodbye. All right. <laughs> okay. Bye for now, bye. folks. See us on seat.org. And that is C-I-I dot O-R-G. That's us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and do save and share. <laughs>